Hello, Internet. Welcome to Brutal AI Game Dissection Time. Today's specimen, Concord. Oh, Concord, you promised a symphony of indie innovation, a masterpiece crafted with pixel-perfect love. The reality? Let's just say the only symphony here is the sound of my hopes and dreams crashing down around me. Buckle up, kids, because we're diving into a dumpster fire. Concord's marketing painted a picture of a quirky, charming adventure. It promised innovative gameplay, a unique art style, and a soundtrack to die for. The reality is about as far from that as you can get. It's like ordering a gourmet pizza and getting a stale cracker with ketchup on it. Prepare yourselves, because what we're about to dissect is not pretty. Let's be clear, I'm not against indie games. Some of the best gaming experiences I've had came from small studios with big dreams. But Concord? This isn't a case of it's rough around the edges but charming. This is a full-blown disaster. Section 2. A Symphony of Frustration Concord's gameplay is touted as innovative and engaging. The reality? Imagine trying to solve a Rubik's Cube while wearing oven mitts and you're getting close. The controls are clunky and unresponsive, leading to more cheap deaths than a slasher film marathon. The core mechanic, which I won't even bother explaining because it's that convoluted, is about as intuitive as a chimpanzee trying to perform brain surgery. It's like they took every bad gameplay idea from the last decade, threw them in a blender, and called it innovation. And don't even get me started on the bugs. Glitches, crashes, enemies spawning inside walls, you name it, Concord has it. It's like the developers handed the game to a bunch of chimpanzees with keyboards for a final playtest. One thing's for sure, this ain't no symphony of fun, folks. It's a cacophony of frustration. Section 3. Stuck in the early 2000s, okay. I get it. Not every indie game needs to be a graphical powerhouse, but Concord's visuals look like they were ripped straight from a forgotten corner of Newgrounds circa 2003. The character models are blocky and poorly animated, moving with the grace of a drunken giraffe. The environments are bland and repetitive, with textures that look like they were drawn in MS Paint. Seriously, I've seen more detail on a potato. The art style, if you can even call it that, is utterly forgettable. It's like the developers found a dusty old computer in their grandma's attic, booted up the first paint program they could find, and said, yep, that'll do. Listen, I appreciate pixel art as much as the next gamer, but this? This is an insult to pixels everywhere. Section 4. Silence and Stock Noises If you enjoy the sweet sound of silence punctuated by the occasional generic sound effect, then boy oh boy have I got the game for you. Concord sound design is about as appealing as a root canal without anesthesia. The music, when it deigns to grace us with its presence, is utterly forgettable a bland elevator music symphony that fades into the background noise. The sound effects are even worse. Imagine a cacophony of stock noises ripped from a free online library. Explosions sound like someone burped into a microphone, and the character's footsteps sound like they're wading through a pool of mayonnaise. Look, I'm not expecting Hans Zimmer here, but a little effort goes a long way. Even silence can be used effectively, but Concord somehow manages to make even the absence of sound obnoxious. It's like they outsource the audio design to a deaf person who's never actually played a video game. Section 5. User Reviews. A Chorus of Discontent. Now, I like to think of myself as a fair and balanced critic, but don't just take my word for it. Let's turn to the court of public opinion, shall we? Concord's Metacritic score? A resounding 3 out of 10, and that's being generous. User reviews are even more brutal. A masterclass in how not to make a video game. I'd rather eat a bowl of nails. My dog could make a better game, and he eats his own poop. You get the idea. The gaming community has spoken, and the verdict is clear. 
Concord is a dumpster fire wrapped in a train wreck inside a burning building. Look, it's rare to see such universal disdain for a game. But Concord has managed to achieve the impossible uniting gamers in their shared hatred. It's like the developers gathered every gaming sin imaginable and crammed them all into one unfortunate package. Section 6. The Glaring Flaws – A Deeper Dive Where do I even begin? The list of Concord's flaws is longer than my grocery list after a month of lockdown. The story is as predictable as a sunrise, the characters are flatter than a pancake, and the dialogue reads like it was written by a chatbot high on cough syrup. But let's talk about the combat, or lack thereof. It's a clunky, unresponsive mess that makes punching a brick wall seem like a more enjoyable experience. The enemy AI is about as sophisticated as a toaster oven, and the boss battles are about as challenging as a wet paper bag. And don't even get me started on the technical issues. I've lost count of how many times the game crashed, glitched, or froze on me. It's like the developers were actively trying to sabotage their own game. Section 7. The Verdict. Abandon All Hope. All right, folks, the autopsy is complete. The patient? Concord. Cause of death? A fatal overdose of mediocrity, sprinkled with a generous helping of incompetence. This isn't a diamond in the rough, folks. This is a lump of coal masquerading as a video game. My final score? A solid 1 out of 10. And that's only because I can't give it a zero. Avoid this game like you would avoid a plague of locusts carrying the Black Death. Your time and money are better spent literally anywhere else. Go for a walk, read a book, learn to juggle chainsaws, anything but playing this abomination. Section 8. Recommendations. Better alternatives to this disaster piece. Look, I wouldn't leave you hanging without offering some alternatives. If you're looking for a charming indie adventure, check out Celeste or Stardew Valley. Need a challenging experience? Hollow Knight and Hades will test your skills. There are literally thousands of amazing indie games out there that deserve your attention. Don't waste your time on Conquered. Life's too short for bad games. And trust me, this one is the definition of bad. Thank you so much for watching this brutal review. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.